All right, in this video, we're going to talk about text files. If you're on the CS server and you're in the getting started link, you'll see some information about text editors. When you are in a the Linux shell, and if you don't know what that means, you need to go back to one of the other videos, um, you will be interacting just with a text interaction. This is when you're in the shell or the terminal. Uh, here I am in my directory. I'll go into my courses directory and there's a file delme.c and I want to see what's inside of that. It's a text file with my ls-l delme.c. I can see it's a 339 byte file. 339 characters. Alright, but if I want to look inside of it, there's a few ways that I can just see it. There's a program called More that will display it. This is what's inside of the file. If I open it up in the text editor, I would see that. Um, More and Less are both programs that will show that. Less will display it and it'll wait for me to say that I'm done with a Q. So that's less, it displays it. I can use my arrows if it was longer than one screen. So if it's longer than one screen, I have my arrows there. And that is the less command. If the more command, if it's more than one screen, it just waits. And I can type space. So I'll just make a quick note there and I'm taking some notes over here so more with spacebar less with Q Q. alright but if I want to actually change what's in the file then I need a text editor and there are a variety of options one of the easiest to use is called Pico and you would say Pico to run the program and the name of the file so now I'm running the Pico program and Pico is showing me what's in the file but then I can also change it. Um, so whatever this file is, I'm changing the file as I go but it's currently not saved and there are um, commands down here at the bottom. So the write out command is, it's not caret a caret means control. So you go to control on your keyboard and O. That's the write out command. It's going to ask me, is that what I want to call it? And I just press enter. And that was written out if I say exit. I'm not in the Pico program anymore, but now I can look at the delme.c and see if it actually was changed. And there is the thing that I typed below there. If I ls-l, tell me dot c, it was 339 bytes, now it's 357 because I changed it. And if I just type pico with no file, then there's no file name, it says new buffer up there. If I say exit, do I want to save it? I'll say yes, and now I have to give it a name tell me do.txt and I should see that on my list there's del me underscore new.txt okay that is pico okay um, so there are other commands that you want to try out down here. Um, eventually, so that's just to get you started, eventually you want to use a text editor that is nicer. I'll show you two. So here's emacs, delme.c. Um, you'll notice here that the code is highlighted. So this is not a Word document where I selected what the um, color is. This is the Emacs program knowing that this is C code 
and it's highlighting keywords in green and red here and variable and function names so variable names is the sort of red and function names is blue so it's doing that Emacs is doing that um, but then it doesn't tell me how to use it down here I'd have to go and look up an Emacs tutorial so I would search for Emacs tutorial and I would find something and then once you sort of know what you're doing you would look for Emacs cheat sheet and you would get some list of commands um, to, to leave the program here I have to type control X control C and that leaves Emacs VIM is another text editor that is also doing syntax highlighting and for this one to leave the program I type colon Q those are text editors if you're in um, if you're on your Mac then text edit and let me just if you're on your Mac then text edit is a graphical program that you can use to edit a file I can go ahead and open if I have a text file here I'll open something um, delme.c so that I can see that's just a text file it's not doing the syntax highlighting and if I go ahead and save it um, I could save it um, yeah if you're on Windows notepad is a program or wordpad um, but you would probably want to look for something nicer notepad plus plus is a program that you could download for uh, Windows does it work for Mac I don't remember. okay so you could look for different um, text editors to use when you're logged in to the server by um, SSH or PuTTY then your main options are here these ones um, there could be others installed as well if you're on your local system and you're on a Mac um, there's a good chance that Vim is installed you could use that locally on your Mac or Emacs is also installed on your Mac and you could download this, those as well for Windows so if you search for for Emacs then you will find um, that you can download Emacs for Windows or Vim Okay, so that's enough to get you started on text files.